It has been nearly a week since a wedding nightmare on Lake Superior when a cruise boat hit a breakwater. Well, tonight we are getting a better picture of conditions out on the water the night of the incident. Northern News Now's Madison Green talked to a member of the responding crew from the Coast Guard who takes us back to that night and tells us why certain actions were taken. When the six-person Coast Guard crew arrived on scene of the Vista Star collision with the breakwater, they learned the vessel had lost propulsion and a passenger on board was injured. They said head injury are kind of red flags go off because you don't know the severity, you know, a head's a vital part of your body, right? So that was kind of the, the tipping point. But Bosun mate um, second we, class Anthony Burke, who responded Saturday night, said the report of a head injury was not the only thing that impacted decision making during the evacuation. Especially with the waves bouncing off their vessel and ours, kind of caused for some uh, unsafe weather. If the water was calm, the evacuation may have gone more smoothly. However, Saturday night, there were three to five boat waves. And after that one person got on board, we then decided that was no longer safe. So we pulled away, uh, talked to the captain over the radio. He said he ended up not having, or he ended up having propulsion, and that he could pull away from the spot that he was in. No one with the Vista fleet responded to Northern News Now for an interview Wednesday, but owner Justin Steinbach commented on the importance of communication during any incident in a video statement released Tuesday. Anytime our boat has anything happen to it, we always communicate with the Coast Guard because they want to make sure that. Any time a passenger goes on our boat, it's safe. So Which Burke says includes taking weather into consideration. Go out what you're comfortable in, what you're safe in doing. In Superior, Madison Green, Northern News Now. Madison, thank you. Now, the Coast Guard also reported 10 to 15 knot winds that night. The entire rescue from when the Coast Guard arrived on scene to transferring the passengers to the Mayo Clinic took about 10 to 15 minutes.